Welcome to our tutorial on navigating the interface of Microsoft Copilot. This video is designed for technical college employees who are interested in learning about this innovative tool. Microsoft Copilot can be accessed in three main ways. The website using any browser, the Copilot sidebar in the Microsoft Edge browser, and from the taskbar in Windows 11. It is important to note that this version of Copilot is different than the version integrated into Microsoft Office applications, like Word and PowerPoint. This is a different product and not available to college employees at this time. To access Microsoft Copilot, visit the official website at copilot.microsoft.com. The website is accessible using any web browser. It is not necessary to sign in to use Copilot. However, it is recommended that college employees sign in using their CVTC credentials. When you're logged in with your college credentials, your chat is protected, meaning that chat history is not saved and your prompt is not used to further train the model. Whether logged in or not, it is important to not enter personal identifiable information into your prompts. You can also access Copilot directly from the icon in the Microsoft Edge browser. Click the Copilot icon to open the Copilot sidebar. Click the sign in link using your CVTC credentials. Finally, if you are using your college laptop with Windows 11, you can access Copilot from the icon in the taskbar. This button brings up the Copilot sidebar on the desktop. The best place to use Copilot will depend on the task you are trying to complete. For example, all locations will allow generating text and summaries that are copied in. The Copilot sidebar in the Microsoft Edge browser can access web page content if this setting is enabled. Click the three dot kebab menu, then notification and app settings, and slide allow Copilot to read context clues on the web to the right. The Copilot sidebar also has a compose feature that shows buttons for tone, format, and length. The user interface of Microsoft Copilot is intuitive and user friendly. The main area to identify is the box for prompts. This is where you can type your queries or requests. Some locations also let you upload images or screen captures directly into the chat. The New Topics button allows you to start a new conversation thread, keeping your discussions organized and easy to navigate. If you are not getting the results you are expecting, starting a new topic instead of continuing a conversation can reset the direction of the conversation and lead to better results. Remember, if you are signed in, your chat history is not saved, so be sure to save your results before starting a new topic. Conversing with Microsoft Copilot is different than a traditional search. Instead of just inputting keywords, you can ask questions or make requests in full sentences, just like you're talking to a human assistant. Let's walk through a conversation with Copilot. First, type your question or request in the prompt box. Then, Copilot will respond with relevant and helpful information. You can continue the conversation by asking follow-up questions or making new requests. The more detailed and specific your prompt, the better you can expect the output to be. Don't be afraid to start simple and build your prompting skills as you become more comfortable interacting with Copilot. That's a brief overview of how to navigate the interface of Microsoft Copilot. Remember, Copilot is here to assist you, making your tasks easier and more efficient. Check out the other videos in the series for details on using Copilot.